Good day, everyone. I hope you are all feeling good. By the way, I am Jenny Osonero, and together with my co-reporter, Ms. Nika Jane Gibao, we will learn a new topic which is relevant in regards to the legal concern that relates to the use of technology. Our topic is about the Republic Act 9995 or the Anti-Photo and Video Voyeurism Act of 2009. At the end of this discussion, you are expected to first, to define photo and video voyeurism. Next, to identify the prohibited acts under RA 9995. Then, to understand the sections of RA 9995. And lastly, is to get to know the penalties or sanctions for violating these acts. Now, let's get to know about this one. The Republic Act 9995 or the Anti-Photo and Video Voyeurism Act of 2009 is an act defining and penalizing the crime of photo and video voyeurism, prescribing penalties therefore and for other purposes. So the word voyeurism is a term not usually used daily. So some of us might not be familiar with it. Voyeurism is watching others when they are naked or engaging in intimate sexual activities. For example, a woman is changing her clothes in the bathroom and then someone's looking at her naked secretly. That's voyeurism. Photo and video voyeurism is capturing those activities, including sexual activities, with the use of camera and mobile phone, phones, or any technologies with a lens that can capture without consent. RA 9995 is against the act of capturing, selling, copying, reproducing, and publicizing the records of sexual activities or any activities where one is showing his or her private part without written consent. May it be video or plain image capture for any purpose. Let's note this one. If one is permitted to take a photo of them naked or doing, doing sex, but then not permitted to publicize it is still considered as a video or photo voyeurism. Common scenario of this case is when a couple or could be an online couple in a long distant relationship agreed to film their intimate lovemakings or sex via video calls and save it in a portable drives, in a flash drive, or anything that can store data. And then suddenly, they split apart and the one who's holding the recorded image use it to blackmail the other in exchange of something like money or any bargaining. And of course, in this kind of scenario, to bargain is the easiest way you can think because who would like to have a ruined image in just one click, right? Millions of netizens can watch and save it in their sources. It could be a lifetime worth of viewing. It would be very hard to eliminate it from various sources. In the internet, given that it might get already saved by many. Another scenario where one can be captured secretly during their intimate activity activities is when a one or could be a couple stay in a place like motel, inns, hotel, or any renting place with secret cameras and they expect a couple or could be a group of people to do it in their place and those people fail to check it for an instance. This could also lead you to this problem. Voyeurism is a crime and is very harmful. Now, Let's get to know more about these sections under this app. Let's have Ms. Gibao to discuss about it. So thank you for uh, Ms. Jenny for the introduction. The Republic Act of 995 of 2009 consists of 10 sections, which we will be discussing furthermore. Section one, the short title. Section two, declaration of policy. Section 3, Definition of Terms. Section 4, Prohibited Acts. Section 5, Penalties. 
Section 6, exemption. Section 7, inadmissibility of evidence. Section 8, separability clause. Section 9, repealing clause. And Section 10, effectivity clause. I will be discussing the first five sections and Miss Jenny will discuss the remaining five. To begin with, Republic Act number 9995 of 2009, Section 1, the short title. So these acts shall be known as the Anti-Photo and Video Voyeurism Act of 2009. So these acts will be known as the Anti-Photo and Video Voyeurism Act. So please keep it in mind. Next, Section 2, which is the Declaration of the Policy. The state values the dignity and privacy of every human person and guarantees full respect for human rights. To end, this state shall penalize acts that would destroy the honor, dignity, and integrity of a person. So this section provides the reason why RA number 9995 of 2009 is created. Next is the section 3, which are the definition of terms. So these are the words you need to know about this law. The first one is broadcast means to public by any means a visual image with the intent that it be viewed by a person or persons. Any action that a person is doing which gains attention from the public may it either online tradition publicizing through printing is considered a broadcast. Second is capture with respect to an image means to videotape, photograph, film, record by any means of broadcast. For example, when you take a picture or record a video. Third is female breast means any portion of the female breast. It is not good to take some sensitive areas of a person with or without consent. Those parts are private and must not be captured. You should know that. The fourth one is photo or video voyeurism means the act of taking photo or video coverage of a person or group of persons performing sexual act or any similar activity or of capturing an image of the private area of a person or persons without the latter's consent. Under circumstances in which such person has or have a reasonable expectation of privacy or the act of selling, copying, reproducing, broadcasting, sharing, showing, or exhibiting the photo or video coverage or recordings of such sexual act or similar activity through VCD, DVD, internet, cellular phones, and similar means or device without the written consent of the persons involved, notwithstanding that consent to record or take photo or video coverage of same was given by such persons. So technology is a complex and inventive than ever. We don't even know what the specific small single tech is capable of recording a long wide scene for illustrations, web snooping, and spying. The fifth one is the private area of a person means the naked um, or undergarment clad genitals, public area, buttocks, or female breast of an individual. So when referring to your body, the term private parts refers to the genitalia, anal, and in case breast of a woman. Last is the under circumstances in which a person has a reasonable expectation of privacy. So means believe that he or she could disrupt in privacy without being concerned that an image or a private area of the person was being captured or circumstances in which a reasonable person would believe that a private area of the person would not be visible to the public regardless of whether that person is in a public or private place.
as the cornerstone around which many other human rights are constructed, privacy is a fundamental right that is necessary for autonomy and the preservation of human activity. As I've said a while ago that it is not good or to take some sensitive areas of a person with or without consent. Now is the section four, which is these are the prohibited acts. First is you should not take photo or video coverage of a person or group of persons performing sexual act or any similar activity or to capture an image of the private area of a person such as the naked or undergarment clad genitals, public area, buttocks, or film, breast, female breast without the consent of the persons involved and other circumstances in which the person has or have a reasonable expectation of privacy. So taking photo or video without consent is not valid. This is an act of violating the law. Second is you should not copy or reproduce or to cause to be copied or reproduced such as photo or video or recording of sexual act or any similar activity with or without consideration. So it is not good to copy or reproduce any sexual act. Third is to sell or distribute or to cause to be sold or distributed um, such photo or video of recording of sexual act, whether it is, it would be the original copy or reproduction thereof. So you should not um, sell it or distribute it to the others. Next is the um, to publish or broadcast or to cause to be published or broadcast, whether in print or broadcast media, or show or exhibit the photo or video coverage or recordings of such sex sexual act of any similar activity through CD, internet, cellular phones, and other similar means of device. Of course, broadcasting media outreach. We all know that there are many media outlets and that children begin using their cell phones to browse and surf at a young age. As a result, they can view incident images and films that are inappropriate to watch for everyone's benefit, including the people who are featured in them and who should not be exposed to such sensitive acts. You must not violate the people in this manner. The prohibition under paragraphs B, C, and D shall apply notwithstanding that consent to record or take photo or video coverage of the same was given by such persons. Any person who violates the provision shall be liable for photo or video voyeurism as defined herein. So anyone who violates another person's privacy is responsible for engaging in a photo and video voyeurism as stated. If we act in this manner, secretly recording people, even if they give their approval, we can all be held liable. Well, now let's go to the second five, the Republic Act number 9995 of 2009 penalizes people who were violating the act and can be punishable by law. The following are Section 5 penalties in which a person can face the process according to this law. So the penalty of imprisonment of not less than three more years, more than seven years, and a fine of not less than 100,000 pesos, but not more than 500,000 pesos, or both at the discretion of the court, shall be imposed on any 
person found guilty of violating Section 4 of this Act. So if ever you are caught in the act of photo or video violation, you have to pay fines and it's a lot of money if ever you engage this. The violator is if the violator is a juridical person, its license or franchise shall be automatically be deemed revoked and the person liable shall be the officers thereof, including the editor and reporter in the case of print media and the station manager, editor, and broadcaster in the case of a broadcast media. So all your laborious efforts and selfless sacrifices will be for waste if you engage in illegal voyeurism that costs harm to others. Therefore, resist allowing oneself to enter this fate. If the, uh, if the offender is a public officer or employee or a professional, he or she shall be administratively liable. If the offender is an alien, he or she shall be subject to deportation, which means he or she cannot go back to a particular place or particular country Proceeding after serving his or her sentence, payment of fines. So that's for my part in this video lecture. So now let me give the virtual floor to Miss Jenny for the continuation of our discussion today. Thank you so much, Miss Gibal. Now let's keep going with the next sections. Section 6, exemption. Nothing contained in this act. However, shall render it unlawful or punishable for any peace officer who is authorized by a written order of the court to use the record or any copy thereof as evidence in any civil, criminal investigation, or trial of the crime of the photo or video voyeurism, provided that such written order shall only be issued or granted upon written application and the examination under oath or affirmation of the applicant and the witnesses he or she may produce. And upon showing that there are reasonable grounds to believe that photo or video voyeurism has been committed or is about to be committed, and that the evidence to be obtained is essential to the conviction of any person for or to the solution of prevention of such crime. So this section of RA 9995 indicates that peace officer, particularly the police officer, are on the loose from any sanctions or violations related to voyeurism, given that the complainant or the witnesses of the claim agreed to do so. And if they are authorized by the court to hold the captured record of voyeurism for purposes of improving the thorough investigation that strengthens the claim of the victim. There's nothing to doubt about them holding the records because to think that they have first need to submit an application from the court as permission already gives an assurance. The court will study it whether or not to grant the application. They can only be granted if the court believes or sees that there is a need for them to access to that evidence. Section 7. Inadmissibility of evidence. Any record, photo, or video or copy thereof obtained or secured by any person in violation of the preceding section shall not be inadmissible in evidence in any judicial, quasi-judicial, quasi legislative, or administrative hearing or investigation. So, Record of evidences, particularly the captured image or video by any person who violated the law, will not be accepted as valid. With the new and improved technology and software at our disposal, changing footage can't be that difficult. For instances of the evidences from CCTV footage, without the testimony of the person who took the video or the testimony of any other competent person who can authenticate it, 
the video is inadmissible in evidence by reasons that tampered footage can alter the outcome of court cases or allegations. So that's why. Section 8. Separability clause. If any provision or part hereof is held invalid or unconstitutional, the remaining provisions not affected thereby shall remain valid and subsisting. So in the Philippines, the approved constitution by the 1986 Constitutional Commission is the 1987 Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines. If there are sections in RA 9995 that is open for discussion or an argument and might be considered invalid in a particular circumstances, the other sections shall not be affected by the diminished part. In short, the other sections are still valid. Section 9. Repealing clause. Any law, presidential decree, or issue once, executive order, letter of instruction, administrative order, rule, or regulate regulation contrary to or con inconsistent with the provisions of this act is hereby repealed, modified, or amended accordingly. So in other words, this RA is already in force and cannot be refuted, altered, or lowered in any way by any official order. As a result, there is no way to change the, that sentence or the punishment under any circumstances. Section 10, Effectivity Clause. This act shall take off, shall take effect 15 days after its complete publication in the official gazette or any two newspaper of general circulation. So this act, which is consolidated on Senate Bill Number 2357 and House Bill Number 67, 6571, was finally was finally passed by the Senate at, and the House of Representatives on December 1, 2009. Fifteen days after this date, this RA becomes alive and must be followed. So that would be all for the next five sections. Are there any questions? Okay, thank you so much. So, and that's a wrap, everyone. I hope you learned something about the discussion we do earlier. Please keep in mind that doing illegal things means making yourself feel it. Thank you and God bless.